you. And a heads up to anyone headed to a game or a show at Ball Arena, COVID protocols are changing starting next month. You'll need proof of vaccination or a negative test result to get into that venue or the great Paramount Theater. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt on the story in Denver. Karen, these will be in addition to the requirements already in place. Yeah, Jim, if you've been to an event here at Ball Arena recently, you've seen the signs. They're everywhere. Masks are required right now. And even with this new policy, that will continue. Cronky Sports and Entertainment says fans should also expect to be checked before they even reach the door. After months of capacity limiting restrictions, fans jumped at the opportunity to get back in the stands. Brenda Pata was excited to be at a live show again. We're here to see Teresa Caputo. At Paramount Theater and Ball Arena, ticket holders have to mask up, a requirement that isn't always easy to enforce. And you have someone sitting there with their cup without a mask on for you know the entire time they're in the arena, then that is effectively being maskless. Now, Cronky Sports and Entertainment, who owns both of those venues, is requiring proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test to get in plus a mask. In a statement, the company says the decision to institute these protocols for all events reinforces KSE's continued commitment to ensure that health, safety, and wellness of our fans, frontline workers, staff, performers, and athletes is our top priority. The shift at Ball Arena comes as no surprise to Dr. Jared Eddy, an infectious disease specialist at National Jewish Health. It's just intuitive that the more people you get together, the more opportunities for the virus to keep spreading. For Para, if it means the doors stay open, she's on board. I think we will go and do whatever we have to do to make sure that we get into our venues. Now, if you plan to bring a negative test, you should know that you have to take it 72 hours before that event. We should also note that these requirements do not apply to those under the age of 12, and they, uh, but those, those children will still need to wear a mask. And Cronky Sports is asking, that fans, uh, asking fans to arrive early. They say this could take some time in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.